We are continuing to follow the settlement agreement between Warren and the city of Chico. There may be less homeless people living in public spaces under the new Warren v. Chico lawsuit settlement agreement. Action News Now reporter Ryan Ketchum visited downtown Chico and spoke with several shoppers to see how they are reacting to the terms of this agreement. Homeless encampments like this one right behind me here at City Hall may soon be gone as some city staff members can soon evaluate homeless people to see if there's enough shelter space for them to move to instead. I think personally the, the shelters are a good idea. I do think that we do need a place for the homeless people to move to, um, but it, it's really just going to be a matter of whether or not these people want to move over there. I don't know if enforcing that is really going to be good for those people. According to the agreement, after the evaluation, the city can enforce their sleeping and anti-camping ordinances. This allows them to issue a citation or notice of an arrest or arrest the homeless person if they don't move. Also, moving their belongings or seizing their property. I think it's a good idea that they're getting them off the crowded main streets that are have people shopping. Um, they're not in the downtown area. That's a very good for optics for the town, uh, makes us look a lot better. I mean, of course, they're humans. We should we should treat them as such. They're not, you know, garbage laying on the side. Um, yeah, the, the programs are a good idea. One program is the creation of 177 pallet shelters with meals, showers, laundry, electricity and heat, amongst many other services provided by the city. Mental health and public health officials will also be available for the homeless. It'd be a good for them to start fresh, you know, somewhere that's not disturbing or interrupting the public in any means. The pallet shelters will be built at the old BMX track site off of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Parkway. Shelter can also be found at the Jesus Center and at the Torres Shelter. Reporting in downtown Chico, I'm Ryan Ketchum. Action News Now, coverage you can count on. The city can only enforce the ordinances if there's enough shelter space for the homeless they evaluate.